now it's time for us to install our color drop so this is a color drop file here on my screen so what i'm going to do is to open so when you open it this year number you open it down because you are going to need this number right when you're installing and uh, these files are also needed um, but then you don't actually need this file what well, you need i'll show you everything to do so now um this is color draw what you need to first do is to extract it so i'll just extract the color draw and uh, you give it some time and allow it to extract Now it's done extracting, so uh, we also extract the patch file. Right click, extract the patch. So it's now we're about to begin our installation. Before you start your installation, you need to first uh, turn off your internet and turn off your antivirus. So, what I'm going to do is I'll come here. This is my internet, it's connected, so I'll disconnect it. I'll turn off my internet, then I'll go to my settings and type windows window security so this window security i'll click on it um you are going to see this interface so come to wire wall firewall and network protection so you see that everything is if firewall is on firewall is on firewall is on so we have to turn them off all of them one by so it's off now. I'll go back to the second one as well. Okay, it's off already. To the to this, it's off. I'll go back again. This section. So you come to this as well. You turn it off. So all this has been turned off, right? So just my knife because I still need to turn it on again. So what I'm going to do is this scroll draw. So you open it. We come to this set of file. You see this one? It has this little icon behind it. So you right click and you run as administrator. Or your home might just be open. Anything or run. Whichever one. Just uh, start it or just double click. Right? So it's setting up. So when it shows you this screen. What you do is you say I agree and you click on accept. Then this serial number, remember that number I told you to keep. So we are going to open it now. This is it here. You just control you know, control A, control C as copy, or you right click and click on copy. Then you paste the number here. Or we since we can paste it directly. So what we are going to do is uh, let's see if we can paste them one by one. So I'm going to be pasting them one by one, as you can see. So I'll click on next, then I'll select typical installation. So you are going to see this. Um, so what you just need to do is you don't need to do anything. Just close it. Sure, do you want to cancel? Yes, just cancel. And we are done with this. You just close this. Then you now go back to this patch file, right? You open it. You're going to see this. So you see this file. You copy it. You right click and copy. Then you now open. Uh, you now go to your so let me open this in a new window so this folder you open it then you go to program files then this is color you can say color so open color you see this folder open it here open it and control v replace the file continue
so it's there then um, go back again to this around um, see Corel also see this folder here open it again and paste it here as well yeah so once you do that yeah you are good you are done installing so now let's go open As you can see, it's no longer asking us for uh, any password or anything or login details or anything. But then, uh, if you don't like this kind of setup, you can also make it dark by coming to coming in here, going to customization. Then here, you select dark or black, whichever one you want. Uh, for me, I sometimes do black, so you see it's almost the same thing. So whichever one you want, you just select it and click OK, and you can start your work so then let's see testing i prefer to work with rgb uh, let me work with e5 e5 or if you want to adjust the dimension you can just adjust it here 100 by 100 dpi you can make it 400 and click ok you can see your credit is working and it's not going to ask you for any password or anything again so just come back here and turn on your firewalls turn on everything again and uh, as much as possible try not to use CorelDRAW when you're online uh, so that it won't uh, sort of come back again and start asking you for all those details uh, as long as you're not online it's not going to ask you for all those details